my favorite winning slot strategy, the method by which I have won the most hand pays, isn't my most viewed YouTube video. It may come as a surprise to you that it's not my five spin method. Sure, I've won a lot of hand pays with that, but I've won more at another casino at the same time with my strategy seven, win, walk away, return later. Uh, I know it's a terrible name. Maybe that's why I didn't get it as many. It hasn't gotten as many views. Um, the five spin method did not start uh, with being called the five spin method. It was the five pull method. And then before that, it was like only win immediately, but eventually five spin method stuck. So if you want to help me out, uh, you know, I, I've got a long way to go before, you know, to, to develop my marketing skills. Um, uh, I did get there with the five spin method. But if you, uh, you know, can think of a better name for strategy seven, win, walk away, return later, um, I'll explain briefly what it is. But, um, you know, if you've got a better name, please leave it in the live chat or leave a comment on this video. And we'll, we'll see how, see what resonates with people. Uh, it's all about, you know, marketing. So thanks. Uh, but how it works in brief is you see a jackpot or you have one yourself and then you come back to that same machine at that same casino one week later, five to 10 minutes earlier and play through that same time for better odds. Again, I've won so many hand pays doing this 60, 70, in nine months, uh, in, in 20 of those uh, other, you know, 90 taxable jack, nine, 90 hand pays, and 60 or 70 of them uh, were from the strategy seven, win, walk away, return later. But the reason I'm bringing this up, uh, the reason why I'm bringing up the strategy seven today is something Mike said. Mike is someone I was interviewing, I interviewed last night for my podcast. Uh, he's going to come up uh, it come out in a new upcoming podcast uh, next weekend, not this weekend, but next weekend. In any case, um, that's when it's scheduled. But I, I, I'll get into what Mike pointed out on a popular casino's new website and the winning opportunity it presents in a moment. Afterward, I'll also be taking your questions because this is a live stream. I'm only saying that because, of course, the people who are live here now know it's a live stream, but you might be watching this after the fact. Hello to you watching this recording. Thank you for being here and be sure to subscribe for notifications so you can have your questions answered the next time I do one of these. But either way, stick around and I'll be sure, um, I'm sure it'll be of value to you even if you are watching this after the fact. But those of you who are here live, thank you so much. And if you have a question, please use uh, hashtag question in the live chat. That's so I can be sure to spot your question to me instead of all the many comments everybody in the live chat have with one another. Um, after all, this is a community video where friends check in with each other and how their slots play has been going lately and what happened over Memorial Day weekend. Welcome back, everybody, by the way. Uh, and, and you know, what what's what's been happening. So, uh, if you have a question, please use hashtag uh, question, and I'll put a banner across the bottom of the screen so you can, um, you know, if you're if you jump in right now, <laughs> then um, you can can see that. So, at the beginning of last year, I made several predictions on the future of slots. One of them uh, is today's topic because guess what? It's starting to arrive it had, had it's it's still starting to arrive but we're start i'm start starting to see this sort of thing happen so uh is is um kevin uh on uh, in the live chat um kevin has pointed out that my uh uh headphones looked very old fashioned and because they had some white stuff and gray stuff they kind of distracted so now i've got the simplest can't hardly see them headsets. So thank you uh, for that feedback, Kevin. Uh, uh, and um, yes, you could have brought it up during the live stream <laughs> and embarrassed me. <laughs> I don't mind. Um, so great. Um, but I want to let uh, Kevin, if he's here, uh, rec recognize him for his contribution to the show. Thank you.
Uh, and so um, today's topic um, is is we're starting to see some of this this uh, new stuff arrive. It's about how casinos are taking advantage of us, uh, uh, so many of us um, that are that are using mobile devices. Uh, what that means is they they want to connect to uh, us while we're at the casino or not. They want to have their websites provide features which help us spend money <laughs> when we're at our favorite casino. See how that works? They, they want to help you <laughs> and make it easy. And so now they've, they've added these features to their websites. And I, that's what I want to go over because it very tightly uh, goes with the seven uh, strategy seven when walk away return later please think of something that would be different <laughs> just sort of stumble over that uh, saying so um, if you want to find a favorite slot machine game a particular game what do you do well you can search for it on their website. Not all casinos have it. This is this is the tip that I gave, uh, the prediction that I gave beginning of last year on um, you know things that are coming out. So let's take a look at Windstar uh, Casino. As you may know, this um, this Oklahoma casino is either the world's largest casino or the second largest, depending on whether Chuck Tall Durant has finished their latest expansion project or if Windstar has. So um, let me share with you uh, the screen. So if, um, I, I have a website, professorslots.com. Uh, and if you go to professorslots.com slash OK, it's the two-letter postal designation for Oklahoma. I have one for every state, territory, and federal district, but this is the one for Oklahoma. And if we go to this website, uh, the largest casino back and forth with Chuckdaw uh, is here. And if I click on that, we will go hunting. Uh, we will go looking for buried treasure. And uh, uh, so what, what you're seeing, and, and you know, those of you that are on a, on a mobile device, this could be hard to see. So I'm, I'm, I'll, I'll work on that. But I wanted to touch on this site because this, this is something I saw. And I'm going to click on Casino Map. You can see my mouse. I'm going to click on Casino Map. And so you get this. Uh, there's there's a few things going on here. Uh, you can drag things. Well, when you're you can zoom in, and then when you zoom in, you can move around a little bit. It's a little slow to respond. I must be having a live stream. <laughs> but you can zoom in, and you can uh, reset. But you can also drag your location. Uh, all these features um, is if I wanted to zoom in. A great deal and let me see if i can drag in on a particular location right so now you're beginning to see now you're beginning to see the individual slot machines uh they they don't say which ones they are uh in the different sections of the casino but this is the layout and this is kind of useful. Uh, if you're going to use location, 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 you can scout ahead without actually going to this casino uh, and kind of work on the map to see, you know, is it v in view of the cafe? I'll zoom out again for you. Is it in view of the cafe? There's different things. I wish I could like zoom in part of the way. <laughs> um, and, uh, you know, entrances. Uh, um, I, think maybe you can see restrooms, uh, cafes, um, and a few other features, particularly if you zoom in. And this is all great for location, 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 um, my winning strategy, winning slot strategy for that. But here, we, what we want to do is, um, uh, you know, move away from this, but I wanted to show you what they had a year and a half ago. I haven't, I don't see any significant updates uh, to Windstar's website uh, from, from 18 months ago. But like Windstar and Chuck Todd Durant, 
duking it out with construction projects to, uh, you know, beat themselves, you know, become the leader back and forth, back and forth with all the construction, which one gets for, completed first, the other casino starts one. And it, it's, it's a competition. And I don't mean that other casinos are doing the physical construction. I mean, they are. And <laughs> they better watch out because um, uh, Winstar and Chuck Todd Durant, because somebody's going to take the leadership. Uh, Foxwoods uh, was number two years ago before Winstar got built. Uh, and they duked it out for years with their local Mohegan Sun in Connecticut. And they learned a lot about that. And now they, they're really taking that uh, uh, distance. But I don't mean physical construction. I mean website construction. So let's head over. Let's head over to the Cachada Casino Resort in Louisiana. It's about a forty-five minute drive from. So here's a map that you might be able to see, particularly if you're zoom in for you, so you can uh, see. So Chuckdaw Durant is. I can maybe highlight this a little better for you so it stands out a little bit better. So Chuck Todd Durant is here. And uh, it is about 45 minutes from Lake Charles uh, uh, and Delta Downs. Sometimes I call that Louisiana Downs, but that's actually a different casino. Um, Delta Downs, uh, then the Lake Charles casinos in Cachada and Kinder. This is what I'm talking about. Uh, and if we go to their website, Uh, and go to Cachada, we will come to this. Let, uh, very quickly, I will highlight this again for you because I did not share too many balls in the air. Right, so Cachada, Golden Nugget, uh, Horseshoe is under construction. It got torn up during a riverboat that got torn up during a hurricane and now they're building on land uh, south of Bo Boiser City uh, in Shreveport. Uh, so this is the section we're talking about. Delta Downs is down there. And so uh, we want to, I want to point to Cachada's website. So let's do that because it's got something really interesting. Now, <laughs> Um, I'm going to say something technical. <laughs> Please just go with it. I'll say it and it'll only hurt for a second, like pulling off a Band-Aid. <laughs> so here's the Cachada website. I'm sharing you this website from my desktop computer. What I want to show you, what I think is such a new and interesting feature, isn't here. It's only on the mobile version of their website. Yes, every website, you know, I apologize if this hurts. Uh, yes, every website has a desktop version and a mobile version, or they should. Uh, and so this is the part where I, um, the next step is where I've jumped through several flaming hoops for you this morning. Uh, so let me show you the, the mobile version as displayed on my desktop. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so this is what that looks like. And um, so so if I were to uh, go back to this website, I'm going to make it a little smaller. And so you can see how um, this website, you know, is the, the, this, this desktop version is not the same as this other version. There's something... Um, uh, the, the, there's a menu here of these items and it doesn't appear unless you shrink it. And then it becomes this little hamburger up here, which is the icon for, for expanding it. So it doesn't even have this, this, you know, big real estate, uh, offering, uh, for the mobile version, which is here. Okay. So we need to click on there and we need to go to casino and we need to go to slot machines. Okay. Now, if I were to put all this side by side, which you might not be able to read, uh, um, uh, but very quickly I will do that in case you can read it. Um, so this is the desktop version. 
Uh, and what I want to point out is the mobile version has this right here. This is what's so very interesting and drove me to have a live stream about it. Look at that. Recent jackpots, over $1,200. Click on this button. Uh, and it can be a, a, a little bit more difficult on the other side of things. Um, uh, and so let's see if I, okay. Yeah. Now I had not noticed that. You see how there is no, no recent jackpots over $1,200 on the desktop version, if you make it really narrow, it shows up because this this is um, when you make the window narrow, it automatically switches over to the mobile version. Interesting. Uh, but I'll make it uh, large screen here. So I'm going to click on this and go to recent jackpots. And this is the gist of, but I'll need to explain. This is the gist of what I wanted to point out. This is the new feature offered by a Casino. It is something that the web developers are working with the Casino on, and the web developers is kind of the right hand not talking to the left hand. Do you see what's Do you see what's happening here? Date, time, machine, game, denomination. And HD stands for high, uh, high denomination. And I'm going to click on that, and a map opens. Not just any double diamond, double top dollar one, $10 denomination, but that one right there. Uh, and that one right, right, right there. Zoom in three times. In the high limit area, the one in this carousel now is there one or two there i don't know but it, it is the one uh it gets you darn close to that machine so when people wanted to use the five spin method to, uh, with uh in the past i've said just look on your w2gs i mean if you're a high limit player you get hand pays uh, you can just look and look on that and there on the w2g tax form irs tax form there is a a, a cell for date and time. And there's also a place for slot machine ID, but it's kind of optional. So you maybe you have it, maybe you don't have it, but you have these wins that you have had, and it's not too late to record that because it might be on your W2G. Uh, or you can just see it happen uh, when you go to the casino. Or you can find somebody else's. That's what I've been telling people. You can find somebody else's. Uh, you can see somebody win a hand pay, come back a week later, five minutes earlier on that machine, play it. And if the casino, you know, I don't have strategies. I have counter strategies. They are counter to the casino's operating system. They have to have their part. They have to do their part uh, in order for my strategy to take advantage of their attempt to manipulate you. <laughs> Complicated enough for you? Uh, so if you go check, uh, uh, you know, if you see somebody win or if you have wins, you can go check. But now we've got a whole list. We've got, you know, a map. Uh, and uh, let me see if I can get out of this. Yes. Uh, and escape to close the map. And, you know, look at all of those. You know, and this goes back. This is this is today. Look at that. You know, June 2nd, today, 11.59. Uh, uh, it's still Eastern time, so they're about four hours behind. Uh, uh, three hours and 20 minutes um, of updating this, unless I do uh, update it. I'll be, I'll be careful. I jumped through flaming hoops to get this for you, and I don't want to mess it up. Um, and so th this, you know, all goes back to today um and and then uh it, it this is uh tw you know six minutes after midnight and then it goes to the first one was four minutes and 41 seconds after midnight 
Uh, and then the, la the last one on yesterday was to one minute, 30, 25 seconds uh, before midnight on the 6th. So this, you know, if they have the, the what they need to have to take advantage of them, and that's the question. It's still a question. I found out last night, I called a few friends. They're on their way to Cachada. They're going to check it out. I've been there uh, last year, and I can't test this method. I didn't know about this, or even if it existed a year ago. Um, uh, <laughs> I've been to every website, uh, every casino website in the United States, like four times. I check it every year, make sure the link is still good. They didn't change their name. And that's all, you know, all part of my website, uh, uh, web pages on the different states. So I've, I've been to all of them, but I haven't been to all of them on the mobile app. <laughs> so I would have had to actually looked for it and, um, on, on, while on the mobile app rather than, than not. So yeah, um, uh, this is new. Go check to see if your casino has something like this. There's variations of this, but you need the time, the date, and some sort of identification for which. They might list the game or they might have a picture so you can see the game, but you need to know which of those. In a long row of identical machines, which which one was it? What was the uh, uh, ID? And so, yeah, uh, and this is a winning strategy, but you need, uh, people are checking for me now. Uh, it's, it's not even been 24 hours. <laughs> and and uh, let's all converge on uh, Kashara and get on top of this. Uh, uh, and they're going to check out to see if they they have, you know, the winning odds. Uh, they, they That the casino does this to take advantage of it. Uh, they may not, uh, but it is very popular. Uh, for casinos to have this sort of schedule to you know improve the odds now and reduce them later and it's hour by hour uh, and they just you know set it up in advance it's not because you walked in it's set up you know a week or so in, in advance and uh, um, so they get the financial performance metrics that they are looking to have uh, and it's just common and so i suspect it's likely but i don't actually know i'll know shortly uh, and i'll let you know what i hear but uh what you but this gets a little complicated i mean not complicated a little bit of um spreadsheet work okay you got a date you got a time you got a machine uh and a location you tell me what your bankroll is if it's $3,000, I'll include the $100 machines. But if it's $300, then I'll look at the penny machines or maybe as much as the dollar machines. And I'll put together a list for you over the last four weeks where you basically take your watch and... Uh, right. Yeah, make myself big so you can see my... So, you know, give you a calendar. Use your watch. And I got to be at this machine at this time, this machine at this time, this machine at this time, all in order from one side of the casino to another. Uh, I cannot do this for everybody. If I could do it for everybody, it would be free because I would just do it once. But when you find a machine that has... Uh, at a casino that has this and when you're on a when you you know do this what i've found it only works for four weeks uh and <laughs> i'm starting to see some of the comments i should probably uh work here uh work on some of them i, I hope it's not, no scammers have been taking the opportunity as i'm so excited about this but um yeah so it's a lot of data if you want me to put together the plan for you, uh, one of the things you have to remember is this kind of fades away after about four weeks. You come back one week later at that time and you play that machine, and then another week and another week and another week, but it starts to fade out uh, around the fourth or fifth week. It's um, something the, the schedule they set isn't like locked in stone. People have asked me that. Was it, you know, every casino in the country has the same schedule? No, they, they design it themselves and they adjust it 
apparently enough to be five to 10 minutes before your prior wind kind of like drifts away. I don't know if it's before or after, but it drifts away um, uh, within about five weeks. If it didn't, if it was locked in, I would just, you know, do the report once and hand it off and, uh, you know, good luck. Uh, but because I would have to redo it for each individual every week or two, well, um, you know, feel free to sign up for a paid consultation and I'll be happy to to put it together for you. Yeah. Or you can do it, you know, enjoy. I'm, I must, did I tell you I have a superpower? It's, it's spreadsheets. <laughs> Um, anyway, uh, so, so this, these are the, the differences I wanted to explore, um, and, uh, for you it, see if your casino has anything like this, make sure that you check the mobile app as well. I, I don't know how prevalent this is. I've, I go to the website when I have a paid consultation, I go to the website, you know, during a paid consultation, there's a bunch of, uh, questions that I will ask. And if I do that. So it, if I go there and I think I won't get in trouble by, by doing this. Um, so this is what's involved with the consultation. And you can uh, take a look at that. It's professorslots.com slash consultation. Uh, I, I just want to make sure I clear the path. So what you do is you uh, choose a time and I have a couple of times uh, set up. It's it's shown in your time and then I basically fill this out and there's questions here please list casinos where you most often play slots what would you like to focus on what bankroll are we talking about here and this is the current price that is uh currently set up um and so you know you can you can ask you can t tell me cachata and you can say this much bankroll and i'll you know, I'm interested in this plan. Or if you're asking about other stuff having to do with the paid consultation, because as much as I post, there are questions people have that really is unique to them. And it's uh, so I answer those questions immediately rather than, you know, you waiting six months or three months for me to write an article about Washington slots or something, uh, whatever topic that you're interested in. So, oh, <laughs> did it again. Right. So, uh, uh, this is the, the booking, uh, and, uh, this is the consultation page and, uh, you can find that consultation. And, and so, um, I will ask, uh, here, which casinos, and you basically explain all this to me. Like I said, I'm not the, not the best person at, at marketing and, um, you know, I make this all free, but it's, it's basically got to be done every couple of weeks. And um, if other casinos have that, then, uh, you know, I'll have to figure out how to tell you guys. Uh, but for now, you can ask me. My, my schedule is open. I'm not booked up. I can be, I can be booked up for like four weeks. Uh, and then you'll have to wait until my calendar opens up again. Uh, or not. Feel free to do it yourself. You know how to use Excel, right? Okay, so... Uh, Please understand that if you have a question, please use hashtag question. It's a banner going across the bottom of the screen. Uh, I'll start looking at questions. We've got uh, typically on, on these live streams, I'll talk for 20 minutes, half an hour about the topic, and then I'll take questions, uh, not necessarily about the topic, any <laughs> slots related questions. And uh, it is, is it. I offer these experience, this community video three times a week and it is often an hour and a half two hours long i do have a a limit uh at two hours uh, which is about an hour and a half from now because my voice gives out which reminds me i have to make sure i keep my <clears throat> throat moistened moistened so that uh we can continue to i uh, can continue to talk Okay, so uh, let's see what questions we have. Lots of hellos. Uh, hi, Kenneth, John, uh, Kevin. Um, uh, yes, I, uh, yes. And let's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, 
I, there's comments as well as questions. Uh, Barstool and my choice, uh, that's a player's club if you didn't know, uh, just took over my local casino. Uh, kind of excited, excited to see what's to come. Yeah, I always like new opportunities. I, I don't like worry about it. Um, one of the things that I say is change is a constant. Yeah. Uh, and um, hello, Tribal. Good to see you. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, Shorty's uh, Shorty's slots comment is, man, I wish every casino did this, but they, but you know, check does yours. I mean, I, 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 I tried, I checked every website like four times, you know, yearly for years. And I'm, and I'm completely missed on trying to go there on the mobile app. <laughs> I got a thousand casinos to go visit on the mobile app. Uh, okay. Um, so uh, J plan question, uh, server based or just really good record keeping for this casino? Uh, great for your strategies. Well, um, it is the first half. Uh, there are other casinos which provide like announcements of during a win. And you're like, where in the casino is that? And was it half an hour ago or 20 minutes ago or 10 minutes ago? And it's so hard to kind of pull out information. Uh, and then there's like website photos uh, showing a win. They're standing in front of the slot machine and they're showing a win, but website photos are low resolution. Uh, um, uh, oh, uh, website photos are low resolution, but sometimes they'll have those same photos um, uh, on a television monitor, on a, on a big screen somewhere in the casino and those are not that's a high definition television so it's going to be high resolution and guess what you can see can you let me light up my watch sometimes the the it doesn't have to be all of them and i might only be on one out of ten of them but sometimes you can see the time on people's watches standing in front of a slot machine and what else do you need to know? I mean, yeah, it might be 3.31 in the morning or 3.31 in the afternoon. Otherwise, you got the date, you got the position, you know, and, and so um, you can see how this sort of website feature is so much more than that. And I want to thank uh, Gina for her donation of $19.90. Nine cents. Uh, Gina says. <laughs> Gina says. Um, she said it. Uh, you are amazing <laughs> with a, a super um, uh, sticker. So thank you so much, um, uh, Gina. That is helpful. Uh, um, can't. I can't fully express how helpful it is. Uh, as we all struggle uh, 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 with, you know, getting through this difficult time with the inflation and, and all that. It's been an interesting, um, last month was interesting. And if I, I figure if I um, post a video every day and make it 1% better every time, I'll be good in three months or so, twice as good in three months. <laughs> keep at it. I'll just keep at it. Um, and so, yes. Uh, and so Deborah has a comment or a question. Did you ever check out Desert Diamond Casino in uh, Arizona? No, I've been kind of uh, talking with people about Turning Stone. Is that right? Uh, they have, oh, what was the inf information that was conveyed to me? They have location, location. No, yes, location, location, location. They also have uh, a lot of, a lot of class two slot machines uh, so it's it's one of those casinos that has a mix uh, that's hard information to get unless you talk to somebody who's been or, or, or walk through the place uh, so uh, shorty's uh, slots uh, well it does say let's see here it does say um, share 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 it does say, hmm, you yeah, know, it doesn't say the, the donation amount. I wonder if there's a, let me click on another one of these. 
No, it, you're right. It doesn't give number of credits. It gives uh, the denomination. Interesting. Well, they'll get better. They already have. And let me put that away. Okay. Yeah, thanks for pointing that out. Good observation skills. <laughs> uh, and shorty slots, uh, do you go to Kashada, um, or were you talking about someplace else? Uh, shorty is, is, is saying that place is paying uh, last 24 hours. Yeah. Uh, oh, uh, suggestions for new names for when walk away, return later. <laughs> it's just, it's, you can see five spin strategy, you know, five, five pin method. Uh, and that's like a number and two words. <laughs> and so when walk away, return later is way too long. Um, come back for more, try it again, repeat in a week. Um, Maybe repeat in a week. That seems that I can feel some pull coming from that. Thank you very much. Uh, anybody got uh, <laughs> anybody got other ideas? Uh, how about win, walk, win? Uh, maybe I can combine a couple of these. Thank you for sharing uh, and your ideas. Appreciate it. Uh, okay. Um, Kissy cat. Uh, Uh, right question from K.A. Uh, uh, for method seven, hit it and quit it, maybe. Yeah, is that going to be confused with um, the five spin method? Because that's kind of like an alternative for the five spin method. You know, you stay in the machine for up to five bets, but if you hit something, you get out. You hit it and quit it. And so that's almost uh, like that, but um, that's used. Um, <laughs> uh well, uh, you're right. Where is Kiri? Kiri is normally taking a nap, like right there. Uh, it could be, it could be it's a little warm today, uh, and it could be a little warm upstairs, and she may be downstairs where it's a little cooler, uh, up in the loft, as so I can get a little bit warmer. I I could run fans, but then you wouldn't be able to hear me talk. <laughs> and um, Isaac is right under the table there. You can hear him snoring sometimes. <laughs> um, thanks for pointing out. Uh, you, you guys have to warn me when um, uh, the cats, like, you know, get into trouble behind me. Um, so let's see. We have Joe. Uh, question. Do you think that certain machines pay out more consistently than others? Not necessarily different games, but specific machines in the casino. Uh, this is one of the strategies I talk about. I'm not sure quite what you mean. Uh, yes, those that are highly visible. It, I've, I've found casinos where it's just, you know, there's two machines that are just highly visible, one near the entrance, one that you can see when you walk out the entrance, one you can see when you walk in the entrance. Uh, there might be a row of machines, and it's like one of them. It's really easy to find. And yes, it might be like 20 candidate machines. But, you know, if you walk into a casino, it's got 2,000 machines, you're down to 20. <laughs> so, it, 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 you know, that's, that's how you, you find it. And it might be by the caf cafeteria, uh, uh, you know, the walkway. There's usually a big walkway outside of the um, high limit area. Uh, not always, and it's kind of strange when that doesn't happen. And so you can look around your casino. When I, in my course, uh, 30 days to play slots, uh, to 30 days to play slots smarter and win. I talk about all of this. I explain all of this. And I uh, first, your first assignment, not to give too much away, your first assignment is go back to the casino. Don't take money. Look around. You know, what machines have you won on? And are they, are they those that are, you know, highly visible? And what's the biggest intersection? And where's the cafe? And, you know, where are you in the casino? Look up. Look around. For once, maybe. Yeah. So uh, these, so yes, uh, certain machines pay out more consistently than others based on location. That's one way. Uh, then there's others, uh, this the taste method where they pay out immediately because, and this is only like one in four casinos, 
where uh, th what they want to do want you to do is like you know take that money that you just won and spend it whatever you brought with you go get more because you you get they get you all wound up because of that win and it works great I mean even people when I I tell them that's what they're doing <laughs> people are like yes but I can't leave and I'm like yes it's very effective isn't it <laughs> but I say take that win leave that machine go to the next machine and take that win too and the next one and the next one and the next one and the next one and use their manipulation against them so like i say my strategies are counter strategies but only this only the five spin method only works at one in four casinos uh, and they have to have it. Luckily, it seems to be just about every casino on the Las Vegas Strip. <laughs> I don't want to go so far as to say all of them in Las Vegas, downtown or not, uh, but it is very common there, and it's basically a, a way to manipulate people to get them overstimulated, I think is a technical term, overexcited, uh, and then not thinking clearly. And the, this, this is not, this is not my method. This is something I popularized, but I saw it in a Columbo episode from, in, in this, uh, from the, from the seventies. I'm not dating myself. I watch reruns. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I wasn't, I wasn't professor slots when I was five. <laughs> Uh, and so, yeah, uh, so there's different ways that different ones are stood out. It, it depends on the casino. And basically, you, uh, you need to sort of sort through which one it might be, if any, at your casino. Yeah. Delta Downs, uh, when I was there last year, when, at the same time as Golden Nugget and Cushada, I also went to Delta Downs. And my gosh, that was uh, they didn't have anything, but I understand they've renovated, uh, heavily and they took, you know, they, they didn't have any slot machines, uh, on the end of the row. They didn't have, you know, when you stood in front of the entrance to the high limit room, these are all suggestions I make in the course to go check, to see if they're doing this. And, 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 and so you stand outside of the high limit room, which is often an interesting experience, both looking in and turning around and looking out away, but, um, hint, hint, but, had Delta Downs, they had like a bush, uh, you know, indoor plant, it just like kind of blocking the entrance so you couldn't see in. And I'm just like, Who, who's doing all this? But eventually, you know, it's I don't know if they listen or or what happened, but eventually they they figured out that you know um, they're doing it wrong, and 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 now they've renovated uh, with all the changes that I just talked about and and more that I could get into. Snipes uh, says uh, uh, an alternative name is Method 7, Win, Walk, Repeat. How about repeat? I think that we're on to something here. Just, just the word repeat. And then it, it, it captures the imagination and says repeat where, how, when. And so I, it needs to be one more word. I don't know before or after, but I think repeat. We're on to something here. Yeah, yeah. I, I was, return doesn't really quite have the same thing as repeat because people are like, I won and you said repeat. Interesting, you know, and it pulls people in like the five spin method. It's almost, they almost have it without even having to watch the video because <laughs> it's the five pull method, the five spin method. And they, they, you know, that dis, that's so descriptive, but they're like, well, maybe I should check to see, oh, you know, this is additional uh, uh, material in the, in the content, which, which can help out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, question, do you find that certain machines pay out with similar pay amounts? Uh, so I didn't mention, uh, uh, thank you, Tribal. Uh, when, for the question, when you come back a week later, when you repeat, when you repeat, uh, it's not the same amount. Your odds are high because you've chosen a time when the casino has set high odds. It's, 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 you're using that feature and, uh, you're, you're, you're finding better odds, but it's not the same amount. It's, it might be a bonus round. It might be a line hit. It might be twice the amount, half the amount, all 
it's trying to find for you is that time of better odds. It can be, you know, you, you win. Uh, is it going to be huge? Is it going to be small? You don't know. But that's a time of better odds, and that's the whole point of this. If the casino has their end of it and you do this and it works uh, at that casino, then you have better odds. Nothing to do with the amount. That's a different calculation. <laughs> um, is June a good month to go to Vegas? Wow. Uh, it's <laughs> Irving, you want to take that answer? Uh, one of the things I suggest um, is figuring out, uh, is June a good month for you to go, uh, based on your records from last year, uh, people who signed up for my course, I be, I offered it last year in May now have one year's worth of slots record keeping little notes to themselves. I mean, I, it's not, it's not exhaustive. It's just information about how the trip went, whatever you want to note, a couple of sentences, a couple of words, uh, whatever. And then you look back a year later and go, I wish I'd written more <laughs> because, because that's how you know if your local casino has June as a good month. Uh, and I know it takes a whole year. I mean, here I am talking about a method where you have to wait a whole week to see if you'll win again. And that's, you know, there's got to have patience for a full week. <laughs> and now I'm saying, well, in a year, you'll have all that. But once it's done, it's done. And so um, you will be amazed at what you see and in, in, uh, by keeping slots records uh, of your own gameplay. Now, nationally, April is the season. Uh, April is the big uh, uh, month of the year. Not all of it. Um, I, I'm trying to figure out which month is best, but it really comes down to like which two weeks are best, which, which week is best. And so I'm, you know, I, I know for my local casinos because I have my own slots record keeping, but I'm trying to find the national average, uh, for you guys. And so the, tr the trends, so, uh, April is when people get out of school. And there's spring break as well. There's uh, vacation time starts. It's not too hot in Las Vegas, for instance. Um, not too hot to travel. And so April is always the biggest month. But then there's, you know, <laughs> uh, November, December. Lately, it's like, you know, Christmas is celebrated. Uh, it goes up uh, on the decorations before Halloween, you know, so it's, it's, it's that whole period isn't a peak because it's just slots. It's a peak because all businesses peak. So yes, April, it's the season for, for, for slots, October, November, December, because all businesses do well, including casinos. So that's another time. And so uh, in between January, February, March, it's, you know, unless, unless you can overcome that, uh, uh, and a lot of people, you know, don't have money after Christmas, uh, they, 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 they made their purchases and now they're paying their bills. And so uh, all businesses know that it's depressed because of that. It's, it's, it's less buying in those months and casinos like, okay, we're going to take a break. People take vacations. And uh, when you come back, we're going to have to make sure we get ready for April. Uh, and that's kind of how the rhythm goes. Now is you asked is June. I'm going to say no. Uh, it, it's, it's, I mean, August is not a good time. Uh, May, maybe not the first week of May, but the th last three weeks, four weeks of May is not a good time. And so d have they recovered? It might be the last half of June and the first part of July with the 4th of July weekend um, kind of peaks, but then drops. So it's kind of up April, down May, up maybe uh, a bit uh, in June, July, uh, right, right 
between the two months there, around the, including the holiday, and then it's back down for August and back up uh, for September and then um, back down for mostly October and then hit it hard for uh, November, December. And that's kind of the rhythm that nationally we're seeing. Uh, but April is, is, you know, specific to slots because it's vacation time. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I want to thank Irving uh, for his uh $19.99 donation. Uh, these these donations um, are very much appreciated. It's crucial for me being able to uh, continue to do this. I am not kidding. Uh, it is a tough time. I'm only just getting started. Uh, uh, was it a week ago? Uh, was my two-year anniversary from being laid off as an aerospace engineer, and my savings is kind of like down to a month's worth. Um, uh, no matter what, I, I don't, I'm not, I, I'm just saying this is how it is. And, uh, you know, I got student loans and mortgages and, and apparently I, I didn't realize dogs were so expensive, uh, a dog. Um, so, but he's stopped being a puppy, uh, soon next Tuesday. <laughs> and, and, um, yeah, so, so, uh, I do appreciate your donations. Thank you. Seriously. Thank you. Uh, and so, uh, yeah, Irving says in his super chat, I so glad I caught a live stream. Just got back, uh, in Vegas from the Mayo clinic in Minnesota. Chemo is really rough. Uh, I know you've been going through that. Uh, Irving, um, was on my podcast and we've had, a, had, have had multiple opportunities to talk. Uh, and he is going through some medical, in, uh, issues as a, uh, young man. Uh, and, um, you know, I, I wish him well and please wish him well, um, thoughts and prayers. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, Madonna, uh, going to Kashada tomorrow. I need to book a consult. It takes me time to prepare a consult. All right. Somebody signs up and it's like two days later <laughs> because I need to like study and prepare. Um, uh, and, uh, but I hope that this part will help. Uh, and, um, you know, you can still get it in if you're there for a couple days. Uh, and, and, and the next one I think is, I, um, it might be, did I show it earlier? I think I might've shown it, showed it earlier. When's the next time, next one available? Uh, let me back up. Yeah. Uh, three o'clock on Friday, uh, or five o'clock, uh, and then, uh, Saturday as well. And then it won't be again, uh, and because I only do them on Wednesday, Friday, and Saturdays, uh, and so that's that's when I, I keep on forgetting to do this. Um, yeah, so it is uh, Friday the third, three o'clock, five o'clock, Saturday, three o'clock, five o'clock, uh, and um, yeah, I can put that together for you in that time. And then there's next week, if you'd care to. Uh, let's see, question from Lisa. Yeah, Irving, um, really seriously, take care of yourself. Uh, Lisa, uh, question. I find that casino slots are much tighter since reopening after the COVID shutdown. <laughs> you are not kidding. Uh, do you think that is true overall or, or, or that just the, the Seminoles? Um, thank you for asking me what I think. Uh, however, uh, I don't need to think about it. We can look at state data. So if you go to my website, let me um, make sure I share this, but I'll get out of the screen here. Let's just take a look at database decision making. Uh, and so I will stop sharing that and I will do this. And let's just see what's going on. Um, this is professorslots.com. And there's under reviews. Uh, I have one that's coming out today uh ish um and let me see if i can pull that up for you it hasn't been published yet i wanted to do illinois i thought it was an interesting graph uh, for you to see so i will uh, 
show you what that looks like. In Illinois, they have uh, riverboat casinos, which don't have return statistics, uh, but they also have um, uh, video gaming terminals. And I don't want that one. I want the other one so I can show you on a big screen. Yes. So let me just pull that up for you. And um, there you are. Right. So this is Illinois. 2012 to 2022 for the video gaming terminals in bars and taverns. They can have up to five or 10, depending on the type of establishment. They have a gaming license. It's all perfectly legal and it's run by the state lottery. And uh, back here on this first date uh, was the best return ever, but they only had, I think it was something like 300 machines out at um, 120 different um, uh, bars and taverns. Well, these days there's 14,000 machine, 14,000 locations, no, 7,000 locations and 42,000 <laughs> uh, machines. So as time has gone by, they had an uptick uh, and kind of covering it up there. Let me see if I can make that a little bigger for you. Yeah, so in uh, 2016, uh, they kind of had this second peak. Uh, back here, they're trying to, um, you know, it's not COVID, but uh, back here, they were trying to, like, make them popular. Uh, but now the, they, then they peaked again uh, after taking money. And this is, there was a gap here where they had to shut down because of, of something. But then in 2020, uh, here was... No, no. Uh, here was the uh, pandemic, uh, and then uh, there was another gap uh, there where they didn't have any data for all of it. But look at that. It, it is the lowest of all time for 10 years in Illinois, bars and taverns, all controlled by the central system. Uh, that's that's bad. Um, that's, that's pretty low. Uh, but then you also have, you know, you can look at Newport, you can look at Kentucky, HHR machines, and there's a, uh, you'll see an image here, uh, and, oops, not that, not that, not that, not that, not that, not that. Um, if you, you know, this is Newport Gaming, where uh, this is Kentucky, and it's the lowest out of all of them uh, since beginning of 2021. You can go back to uh, these other reviews and check other states. Um, one of the more recent ones was Hollywood Gaming in Dayton. So I've got Ohio uh, sorted out for you. Uh, and um, so it's in the middle of the pack, and this is beginning of 2021. And, and, and so sometimes you can see kind of like steady on, but then if, uh, if you go to the Florida article, which I think you might be most interested in, uh, which is uh, here, then only the uh, commercial casinos in Miami-Dade and Broward counties have their data available. And um, it's kind of messy, but if you look at the last uh, from 2019, they are, they're all kind of like steady on. There was some odd behavior right after the gap here in the pandemic. Um, but like uh, this uh, lowest one, I think it's Isle Pompano, actually took a pretty big jump uh, in uh, March. Um, but then uh, the top two of uh, Hylia and um, what is that? Magic City, you know, it, it kind of like they split. Uh, they've always been kind of like moved together, but then they had this biggest split I can see for the last couple of years. Um, and so Magic City would be the one, uh, assuming they didn't go back the other way. So this is a March data. And you can, you know, all this is available online uh, for you to go check what the latest is. I'm trying to cycle through them all in about four months. Uh, and I, I'm going through the first time. It takes me a little bit to record all this. Uh, um, and... Uh, yeah, so, you know, you can ask me what I think, but uh, it looks like they got all their money back. Uh, and on the return statistics, it seems to be back to kind of almost normal. Uh, one of the things that we're not seeing so much of 
uh, and you know, people still have a bad memory for like January, February, March, you know? So, so what are you talking about? What is it tight? You know, was it tight this last week or was it tight this last, this year? And so I think it's, uh, kind of getting back to normal. Uh, then you have, you know, there's like Florida is like you know, same old, same old, uh, but then you get the state of Illinois and, um, you know, and their video gaming terminals and bars and taverns. And it's like, what are you doing? You know, you're the lowest return ever, you know, and that's entirely the lotteries uh, doing, you know, the bars and taverns don't can have any say in how their machines perform uh, and the lottery does it. It's like, are they trying to fund a new school system or something? You know, what, what did, did they have some construction? And so all of those machines in Illinois um, are equal to like 30 riverboat casinos of which they only have 10. So it's like three times as big as all the riverboat casinos combined. And so it's, it's, it's like the lottery is its own biggest casino. I wonder what they're trying to fund something to do with the state. Yeah. And I, I have a few ideas on that, but that's a topic of another presentation, another uh, live stream. Um, yeah, that's why I started looking into the returns. You know, what's going on here? Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. I see, make sure you use hashtag question. Otherwise, I'm not, I'm not sure if you're talking to me or somebody else. Um, uh, Jason has a comment, maybe a question. Are Fridays better than Saturdays for slots? Uh, it's about the same in Las Vegas uh, because Californians head out early uh, to go to Las Vegas and get there on Friday and leave on Monday. So the weekend there is kind of like half of Friday, Saturday, Sunday, half of Monday. And so, and, and that's Reno too. And that's, you know, uh, sorting through all of this and talking to you guys, uh, those of you that are there, uh, has led to my realizing it's not just Las Vegas, the strip, it's downtown, it's, it's Wendover, it's, um, jackpot, Nevada. Uh, it's, it's all Nevada cities. It, once you start finding it in like five different casinos at five different cities, I'm going to start saying it's all Nevada cities. Um, but then, you know, that just because Nevada does that, does your casino do that? And so I always encourage gambling records to which are come free with the course uh give you templates simple medium comp advanced uh where um, the simple is basically what the irs wants from you if you don't have an accountant uh, and advanced and medium is is varying levels of gameplay analysis where you're making notes that you would want to check back on in, in a year and then go shoot i should make more notes <laughs> after a year and and so uh um, going to Biloxi, Mississippi this weekend because we have free comps, but it seems like we have had better luck on Wednesdays and Thursdays than weekends. Um, you know, there's so much in your, in your, in your comment. Um, so you're going when they ask you to be there, they chose. It's not always a good idea to go to the casino when they ask you to go to the casino. So, um, th that's one tip <laughs> to, to watch out for. You can still overcome. You can still overcome things, but, you know, when you're starting at a disadvantage, you have to work harder to, to, um, you know, recover from that first. Like you can gamble at, at, in Las Vegas on the weekends and you might even win, but you're kind of like got to figure out how to get past that other stuff. <clears throat> okay. So, um, let's see. Next questions. Um, yeah, you're welcome, Irving. Uh, uh, yeah, it's taken a huge toll on my mental health as well as my physical uh, skin cancer is no joke, and uh, neither is the Las Vegas sun. You know? Yeah, all the best. And do you have questions? Uh, sometimes these live streams go for an hour. Sometimes they go for two hours, and I have to like cut it off. And sorry to get to all the all the questions. Um, and uh, uh, you know, if, if you have any questions, now's the time. I'll, I'll give you less than a minute to, you know, type your questions. 
uh, I want to make sure I give you plenty of time. Uh, there's something called a technical term called latency, where I am speaking 30 minutes before you see me. So I want to make sure I, I wait 30 seconds uh, because other, so you have a chance to respond. Uh, and uh, hi, Nora. Uh, and and uh, yeah, it says loves Winstar. Um, yeah, uh, uh, gambling granny. I, I'm from Illinois, and it's awful. I, I do you go to the Riverwell casinos or are you talking about the bars and taverns because we just saw the data and the bars and taverns and it, it's indeed awful <laughs> worst ever of over the last 10 years oh my voice is cracking um I'm I'm working on uh being more <clears throat> uh warming up my voice and all that uh I don't want to my voice is everything uh for my for my job so uh, of being Professor Slots. Okay, uh, question from Steve. Hey, Steve, uh, is it possible to get the five to get the five spin method to work on multi-denomination machines on each one? You know, that's a question that I've been getting lately. Is how separate are the machines uh, based on changing the denomination? I think there might be something to that, but it needs to be tested, and it's not hard. Uh, but you actually need to go to the casino. I'm going to, I'm trying to go like monthly and my next casino trip is on Sunday. Won't say where, uh, I, don't, I can't do my job if there's a crowd uh, or really anybody that I just take away from uh, doing the review and, and spend with somebody instead. Uh, so uh, as much as I'd love to, I, I, I've got to report out to you guys. And so I'm planning on going on Sunday. And if I, Remember, if I um, have an opportunity and if I have time, I'll I'll try it at that casino. But basically, it needs to be tried at a bunch of different casinos to see at a at a casino that has a five spin method. And I know where I'm going as far as the casino, and I will have to I I will double check to see if they have the five spin method. If they don't have the five spin method, which one in four casinos you know, do, uh, if there are three out of four casinos don't, if they don't have it, then I can't test it. Um, I do have another local casino, um, <laughs> but I, I, one casino a day, uh, um, one, uh, another local casino does have the five spin method and that's something to check, uh, when I get the opportunity. Yeah. It's the one I learned it at Belterra park. Uh, no gas says question. Do you believe in clearing spins after a taste payout? Uh, and after a big win, uh, does 7, 14, 21 days work? Uh, so, yes, we were talking about that um, one week later, two weeks later, three weeks later, four weeks later, maybe five. Uh, it's less successful at the five week after. Sometimes it stops at four. Sometimes it stops at five. Uh, and just to have the better odds and then see what you get. And that, uh, um, you know, that, so that's what you're asking. That's what you're saying. Uh, clearing, um, you know, when you do the taste method, um, this is kind of a, uh, I, I, I'm thinking all the time about the proper names for things. I have the um, uh, tough love strategy, which, I'll talk, which I might talk about. Um, but I also have the, um, uh, uh, you know, what happens, you have your cake and eat it too, okay? Which is you're doing the five spin test and then you win something pretty big and you're like, was that a taste or is this a winning machine? And, you know, I, I tell people you, you won using the five spin method, but maybe you found a winning machine that's more than the taste. What do you do? And I say, well, do the five spin test only if you first do it, you got to do it enough to get comfortable with it. But then what will happen naturally later is once you learn that, and then you kind of learn my evaluation method for slot machines, then you start, you learn each independently, each separately, learn them well. And before you know it, you'll be combining them. So I'm going to throw you in the deep end and I'm going to say, I'm going to assume that you've learned both well. And so you turn, you, you pause the five spin method. If you get a particularly big win, 
you get taste, but then you get a big win. You know, you're making, um, you know, 90 cent bets and you win $120. And you're like, whoa, uh, should you stay? Well, pause the test and evaluate that machine. And this is how I'm combining what I do when I go to evaluate a casino to walk through the casino, find the best locations, play those machines using minimum bets with the five spin method, and then spot, if possible, if they happen, big wins. And then switch to, okay, I'm going to stay in this machine and put more, put more money in and, and to see how it's going. Uh, and then if that's over with, and see, for, for you, you might just like, well, I'm here for the next 24 hours until I need to sleep again. But for me, it's like I have to do enough for to write the paper and do the video and for you guys to tell you all about it. Uh, and then I move on because, uh, you know, I'm not there to make money. I'm there to, I'm not there to make money playing slots. I'm there to, um, uh, you know, show you how to make money. Uh, and that's more important. Um, you make sure I share that. Uh, <laughs> um, yes, it's only a test. It's a test of the emergency system. Um, yes, uh, Kenneth, uh, thank you for stopping by. I know you need to get back to work. That's great. Um, thank you for, thank you. Uh, question on average, is there a denomination that usually pays out more than others? I will tell you what, there is a denomination that pays out less than others. And if you just avoid that denomination, you've given yourself a big plus because once you remove the low odds of that denomination from your play, everything else is better. Then you know what I'm going to say. Penny slots are the worst denomination to play. Nationwide, in the every month in the six uh, states with return statistics by slot machine denomination, Penny slots are the worst, except last February in, what was it, Cripple Creek in Colorado, something happened. <laughs> and it wasn't then, but the rest of the time it is. It's just, you don't have to be in those six states with penny machines and, and the recorded database decision-making, don't take my word for it, look at the data, uh, uh, to, to realize that's a national trend. Now, in Las Vegas, the five cent machines are the best returns for like in February, they were the for the month, for the three months, and then for the 12 months. And, you know, can you make a national assumption out of that? Well, you're asking for the best. I'm going to tell you what to avoid because it's the worst. Uh, it's kind of a logic thing. Um, so um, avoid penny machines and everything else will be better. Uh, it seems I have uh, way more luck in the five cent tonight. Well, yeah, there you go. Yeah. Uh, it's not, it might not just be you. Uh, we can make a national assumption about penny slots because it's just so consistent for so many years at so many different places. Every place that we know about that has return statistics shows that. Does five cent show it's the best and all of those? You know, honestly, I haven't checked, but it's not quite so dramatic as double digit um, uh, you know, casino hold percents on penny machines. Uh, but you know, I should, I should look sometime. Uh, and that's kind of why I'm going through all of these, uh, re the 20 States that have return statistics of which six have by slot machine, machine denomination. Uh, once all that, once I've cycled through all 20 and it takes you know, one per week, uh, if I stay on schedule, it takes 20 weeks, which is what, five months, four months. And so once I go through all that, we can start, you know, it's like keeping records for a year. You know, once you get the year done, you're just like, you look back through them and you're like, oh my gosh, uh, every time I went on the last day of the year, uh, last last month of, of day of the month, you know, and you can see trends. It's just clear. Uh, so yeah, uh, um, I think that you might be on to something. Well done. A uh, question from Ball and Jack. Uh, how many offers per day, date, week, or month do you receive from people inviting you to their casino? Is that something uh, you will consider if the price is right? I actually know. Uh, there is one person in the live stream for right now uh, who offered me, I hope they don't mind my saying, $20,000 uh, to come spend three days with them. 
uh, and they were winning and they wanted to fine tune it on high limit slots. And I said, no, um, I'm trying to help many people a little, not a few people a lot. If that makes sense. Um, now, on the other hand, <laughs> I got to sell my car to keep going with this business. But, you know, I, I, I live with my decisions, no regrets. Um, so uh, I don't think that will help me grow. I don't think that will help all the people that need help. Um, I, I don't think that's the direction to go. I started, you know, there's so many other players out there like uh, the, the entertainment slots channels where they started, you know, uh, the biggest one, I'll just say, uh, no need to mention names, uh, started with, you know, biggest bet they ever made was $5. And and now it's regularly high limit, $100 bets. Uh, and that wasn't the way it was for me. I started in high limits. And now I'm going to, I'm going to these casino reviews like on Sunday, and I'm taking $300 and I'm going to evaluate the casino with it because I want to see what what's needed. Uh, casinos are not treating people well. They are raising the cost of minimum bets uh, and hurting the people who have $100, $200, $300 bankrolls, forcing them to not come to the casino because it's not enough money. And they don't realize that 90%, 95%, 98% of their customers are, you know, they, those people spend far more money than anybody else. You know, you, you, do you want three whales to walk through the casino if you can get them? Or do you want them the, the casino to be packed with people who have a $300 bankroll? It's about the same. If the $300 bankroll people aren't like twice as much overall, as the as three whales would be so I, I i am trying to help out the most number of people yeah um oh and of course naturally i have a price <laughs> if if casinos wanted me to close down my youtube channel and shut off my website um i i i would do that but there would be a cost. And the last time i was talking on a podcast about what that cost would be um you know inflation inflation it's 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 gone up significantly i think it might be like double or triple at this point um a couple of casinos are going to have to get together it might be like a like their profits for a month that's my that might be how much <laughs> so there is there's always a, a limit yeah um uh hashtag do multi-denomination machines have different odds for each denomination we know that they do uh because the states that the six states that offer them uh and um so we see different odds uh in the six states and so yeah um now <laughs> natural the natural next question is which one's better well first not penny slots <laughs> but then there's people that have this idea that the bigger the denomination the better the odds and that's just a misunderstanding if not an outright you know attempt to convince people to bet more uh they say things like if you make a bigger bet you'll get a bigger win well that's sort of true you know uh the top jackpot on a hundred dollar machine is like two hundred and fifty thousand dollars and you know on your normal quarter machine it might be a thousand dollars you know so technically yeah <laughs> but are, but are your odds better and understanding the difference between what you might win and this is the fantasy casinos uh put out there uh well you could win bigger amounts well what you know what are the odds if you yeah, i've been playing minimum bets uh on penny machines or multi-denomination machines two cent bets and i was making money on minimum bets so you you didn't ask about different credits bet but i will um uh and i found myself making money with less the minimum bet when at this you know for an hour on a winning machine that i had located 
it's all discussed in um, Hollywood Lawrenceburg in Indiana on my review and, you know, next to the cafe and all that. But when I, on the location, location, location method, but when I went, um, uh, you know, and, and, and moved from 90 cent pets to uh, $4.70, $4.50 bet, bet, five times the bet, I did win more, but uh, because I was constantly winning, right? And so, but when I won, having placed a $4.50 bet, it was not quite double what I was winning at minimum bets. So the odds dropped, the odds of winning, I won more, but the odds, you know, they weren't five times, the, 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 the wins on this winning machine were not five times more, even though I bet five times more. I need to find a better way to sort of point that out. They even say in, you know, in casinos on on slot machines, you win more if you bet more uh, on the on the machine itself. And it's just like that doesn't mean you have better odds. In fact, if you look at the wording, it's like they they're, they're trying to tell you they're trying to hint that it's better odds, but in fact, it, but in fact, if you look at the the grammar, it's not. And I'm just like, you know, shame on you, shame on you, uh, casino. Gambling Granny, do you think betting across the board and changing the noms makes the uh, machine payouts better? Um, it, please avoid penny machines. <laughs> it's so important to avoid, avoid the penny denomination, even if it's on a multi-denomination machine. That alone means, you know, uh, you, you, you know, you don't know in a lot of states, you don't know what the best return is on. You do know the worst return, penny slots, penny denomination. So you're saying going, changing denom amounts, uh, you know, that alone is not penny slots. Uh, and if you do that, uh, avoid penny slots, uh, will just be better. And maybe one of them is uh, a better amount, but you don't know what it is. So, you know, randomize it. Do each of the others and... Um, because what you might do is pick one of them and it has the best odds, but you don't know which one it is. So just sort of spreading it out across all of them, uh, except penny machines, is a, a great idea. Now, there's something else is um, does the actual jumping from one to another denomination, is that something that is improving your odds? And I have seen no evidence for that. Uh, but just switching um, to be on the other denominations and eliminating penny machines, that uh, is, you know, you're going to get a better result. Uh, so, um, you know, if I get a method that I can test uh, for switching denominations uh, that I can eliminate this advantage that I was just telling you about and see if there's any other reason, I'll, I'll, I'll look into it. But I have yet to find a way to prove that uh, with data. Yeah. Uh, Lisa, I think, yep, I think I had answered that. Uh, Shawana, uh, thank you, Professor, for being you. So many of us need your help. Well, I, you know, as I'll say in one of the upcoming podcast episodes, um, uh, somebody w w w during that interview, uh, <laughs> they, they were, uh, I don't want to give too much away because I want to leave it for you, but they were just like, I remember one time you said that, you, you know, mathematics is like meditation for you. And I'm like, yeah, I kind of mow my lawn and do math, you know, it just for fun. And he's like, whoa, for fun. And I'm like, yeah, well, sorry. <laughs> um, thank you. Uh, question. Uh, I found the player win percent uh, Florida eight. Yep. How do I enlarge the graph to see the uh, casino line colors and uh, numbers? Uh, that's a good point. Um, what you might consider doing is uh, playing the video because it's uh, it's not quite 4K. Uh, and 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 they're easier to see. Uh, I need to figure out how to use my website to kind of like show people the uh, the zoomed in version. Um, uh, but you should be able to go directly to the the video. One thing um, I, I think there's a way to do it. I'm not. A, uh, 
I, I don't want to like reprogram my my whole website to be able to offer this. But you're right, and the, and you know you can see some of it gets pretty busy. Uh, um, so I'm not opposed to giving you a high resolution photo right now and pointing it out to you by my opening the Excel spreadsheet uh, that is for Florida and showing it on my screen. Where is it? It is. Oh, uh, sure. Um, so the most recent is about nine days old. And yeah, the video, uh, I eliminated that problem in the video. In the video, and I'll, I'll share this for you. In the video, what I did was I went through each of the casinos and I made a thick line and it's right next to the name as well. And so it's each one, Calder, uh, Isle Pompino. And so you'll find the video to, to have what you need as far as identifying which one's which. And I don't know what's going on, but I think I'm doing a live stream at the same time as trying to do some of this stuff. So um, I just flash these across the screen on the video and that's what you're looking for. I'm trying to find ways to, to make this readable. Uh, although I do know that I automatically turn people off by having you know, spreadsheets at all. <laughs> Here's my graph, isn't it beautiful? No? <laughs> Somebody's calling my baby ugly. Uh, Juan says, why are class three slots better than class two slots? They're not. They're different. Uh, you might have found people who have learned how to win on class three machines and don't have a clue on how to win on class two machines. And so they say they're better, but that's only because of their personal experience. Uh, and then, you know, the opposite is true as well. They aren't better. Uh, well, I don't mean to say anybody's wrong. Uh, it depends on what you like and what you've learned and how did you treat them and how they treat you. Question from Carlton. Okay, I missed your statement regarding size of bet. I witnessed a hand pay where $50, uh, two credit, $25 machine per spin, where the win was 8K. Do you play? Uh, oh, um, this is not about the amount that you win. Uh, the five spin, the, the coming back a week later uh, uh, again and again is about that's when they have better odds. I have done it a lot at a casino where it worked and I won lots of hand pays and it only gave me hand pays, not identical hand pays. And that's pretty thorough testing. Um, what I was doing was um, I was going uh, when I wasn't winning and I was losing it all. And the next day I'd go and I'd win a bunch. And then the next day I'd go and lose a bunch. And so I just started going when I won and I found that it wasn't daily, it was weekly, because Tuesdays are not Fridays at a casino, obviously. <laughs> and Fridays are a little bit different from Saturdays, and, and Mondays are a little bit different from Tuesdays. Enough that once you go a few times, you start to notice. And so I realized that the schedule was set on the day of the week. As long as, you know, you don't come up on, you go Thursday, and then the next Thursday is like, Thanksgiving, you know, so as long as it's not like a major holiday uh, that can interrupt the flow. And there's also a good question that nobody's asked uh, here, but others have. Uh, what um, uh, is, is what about time changes? <laughs> and I say, well, the computer that's running all of this changes time, just like all computers do when there's a time change. Uh, but people are like, I don't know, I think I should come like an hour before or an hour after when I had the win before. And so that can, you know, that's four weeks of confusion and questioning. Uh, and uh, so uh, I'll just throw that out there for you. That's what consultations are for. When you have specific questions. Uh, any other questions? Uh, give you a 20 seconds or so. Uh, and um, did my cat come back? Hey, there she is. I don't know if uh, whoever asked is 
So there she is. <laughs> she, she went and took a break uh, somewhere. And um, yeah, it was kind of like she spent a lot of time there. Um, I think I might have mentioned in the last live stream that she moved one pillow down. So to uncover the subscribe button, uh, the subscribe wording, she was lying in front of it. So you, you couldn't read it. And uh, that was... Uh, that was that was nice. She's a nice. She's such a nice cat. She is. Um, don't touch me. But you know, otherwise, very nice. <laughs> um, so uh, you know. Okay, that's it. My, uh, what a great live stream. You'll see me on, in my next live stream on Saturday at noon Eastern. In the meantime, whatever casino you visit, I highly recommend this video on how to keep amazing slots gambling records. You'll be surprised, deeply surprised how helpful they are. Thank you. Have a good day.